Hi, it's Lauren, and I'm excited to have you here in my craft room today. I'm hopping along with some of my crafty friends for the EDS Awareness Zebra Hop. Now, EDS is a genetic disease that has affected two of my crafty friends, Michelle and Allison, and I know them through the Sparkle Blends world, which you all know I absolutely love my Sparkle Blends, and I love the community around Sparkle Blends. So I'm really happy to be here to help spread some awareness about EDS. So there are a lot of things that we don't really know about EDS. It's been really hard for Allison and Michelle to be diagnosed with this disease because it is rare and it affects people in so many different ways. So why the zebra for the theme of this hop? Well, doctors and medical students are trained to look for the common symptoms so they are able to diagnose. And unfortunately, those who suffer from EDS do not have the same or common type of symptoms. Everyone is different, just like the stripes of a zebra. So Allison and Michelle wanted to put this hop together and use zebras as the theme in order to spread more awareness. So make sure you check out the links and information down below in the description because there is a lot more information out there on EDS than what I can fit into this video and I really encourage you to learn more. Okay, so let's hop into what we have here on my table. So I've done all my die cutting. I stamped my Better Together sentiment in some onyx black ink, and I embossed it with some holographic embossing powder by Ranger. And I'm also using my Allison's Gothic Peacock Sparkle Blends to celebrate her, and because it's such a beautiful blend that I've been hoarding, I wanted to use it on this card. So I gathered some Distress Oxide inks that I thought matched the blend as best as possible. I will have everything listed down below including these colors and I blended in the purple two blues in kind of a teal color and I thought that with these four colors together along with the black and white of my pattern paper that I've already die cut and cut out I thought it would match the blend quite perfectly so once I'm all done using my distress oxides on my cutouts of these leaves I'm using my spray um, my distress sprayer just to add some water and activate that ink and give it a fun splattered look. I'm just using a paper towel to dry and pick up any excess ink and I'm going to set these pieces aside to fully dry. I did do this on some mixed media paper so it's a little thinner and I want to set it aside to dry so I don't smear any of the ink. I have a top folding card base that is cut to A2 in size and I'm adding this black and white fun pattern paper as my background to the center of my card base. They kind of reminded me of zebra stripes so I'm really glad that I found this in my stash and I'm using it as kind of a feature of this card as well. Next, we're going to work on the shaker. So I have my Polaroid frame. It's very, very old from Lawn Fawn, but there are a ton of different dyes out there that you could use to create a Polaroid shaker. I'm using some 1 8 of an inch square tape on the back of my frame, and I'm going to attach a piece of acetate that I cut to fit behind my Polaroid. Once that acetate is secure, I'm going to grab out my Heffy Doodle foam tape, which is a perfect thickness for sparkle blends because sometimes there are more thicker embellishments inside and so this thickness of their foam strips is perfect. So once I get the back of my Polaroid all filled up with foam adhesive, I'm just using my anti-static powder to make sure that my piece of acetate isn't going to cause my sparkle blend just to stick to the window. I want them to move around. I wipe off any excess dust with my little swiffer cloth, and then I'm going to dump out my blends and pull out some of these really pretty larger sequins. I will fill up with the smaller ones and then place the larger ones inside after I'm done because I want them to be in the back of my shaker. I peeled off all of the release paper from my foam adhesive and I'm placing a background piece to fully enclose my shaker in this Polaroid. It's also a black and white piece of cardstock that I thought would be a nice subtle pattern compared to the background. I've cleaned up my workspace and now I can start really putting this card together. I'm going to glue my zebra to be kind of popping up out of the Polaroid. I was intending to tuck him inside of the Polaroid, but my glue between my Polaroid 
cut out and my acetate was a little too snug so it didn't happen but that's okay. I just used some wet glue and trimmed down the zebra so it would be nice and flush and with the Polaroid cut out that it looks like he is actually popping up out of the Polaroid and then using some wet glue for his little hooves that are holding on to the edge. So really giving it a 3D look and I think it's really cute with this better together sentiment. So once I get both of those hooves glued down, I'm going to work on how I'm going to lay out my Polaroid shaker with my leaves. So I wanted my leaves to show, but I knew that putting them both overlapping the Polaroid would hide the sentiment. So I am going to just overlap the leaves on the top part of my Polaroid. So I took the one that had a little more splatter than I would like to be glued directly to my card base and that will be on the bottom because my Polaroid will overlap that one the most. And then I will take some of that same foam adhesive that I use for my shaker and adhere it to the top of behind my second set of leaves here. So it will overlap on top of the Polaroid and therefore I need it to be the same thickness. So I'm just gonna use that same foam tape along the top part of the leaves. So once I get that place down, I will peel off the release paper and then I will make sure it's nice and snug against that black and white pattern paper since I used the same rectangle die cut to cut them out. I knew they would be the same width. And then I'm using wet glue on the back of my Polaroid shaker so it can give me a little time to kind of shove that underneath the leaves. I didn't think about having to slide it under after, but it's okay. It worked out fine. I did get a little bit of glue right there, but I wiped it off. No big deal. So I'm applying some pressure, making sure my Polaroid shaker is nice and secure to my card. Everything is moving. And here is my fun zebra card with Allison's Gothic Peacock Sparkle Blends as my color inspiration. Check out the description for details on how to find the next person in the hop and again, more information about EDS. Thank you to Michelle and Allison for including me on this hop. I'm sending you guys super big crafty air hugs. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll click like and if you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe and come back. As always, you can find everything I use down below in the description box. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye!